hello viewers welcome to my channel hope you are well so today in this video i have come up with uh, some short questions from she stoops to conquer uh, now you already know what is this play is about and here in this video i have um, tried to cover some uh, short questions like um, saq type questions and also some mcq type questions hope this will be of help in your future examinations before reading out these questions, I must uh, give you some information about this play that this play was uh, written and staged in the year 1773. Now if we say about its genre, it is a five act play and uh, also it is uh, we can say an example of anti-sentimental comedy okay and uh, added to that we must say as the playwright himself said that this is a very good example of laughing comedy okay the revival of laughing comedy and um, uh, we uh, can uh, also say that this is an example of comedy of manners because there are some traits that uh, hints us okay so now let's move to the question section whom was the play she stoops to conquer dedicated to now this question is very much easy uh, on the very onset of this play you can see this the play was dedicated to samuel johnson lld who was a great literary master and friend of goldsmith okay so the next question is the three pigeons expect down every moment where the line is taken from what is the three pigeons whom does it expect and why the line is taken from Oliver Goldsmith's play, She Stoops to Conquer. The Three Pigeons is the name of the inn where the mischievous Tony Lumpkin frequently visits. Uh, you can say this is an ill house. Okay. It expects Tony because there's something funny is always going on there and Tony is the center point of all this. Okay. So the third question is, I wonder why London cannot keep its own fools at home. Who said this and why? The speaker of this above-mentioned comment is Mr. Hartcastle. He says this because he doesn't like this at all, that all the London fashion is encroaching upon the country life so fast. That's why he says that why London cannot keep its fops and send them to the countryside to corrupt it. Actually, Mr. Hartcastle is very... Um, old type of people and he likes everything old even uh, his old books his old uh, um, um, modesty and even uh, his old wife okay that is why uh, he believes that the new things that is in vogue in that time in london it is actually contaminating the um, countrysides of england okay so he says this um, uh, while talking with mrs hardcastle okay what is the subtitle of the play she stoops to conquer the subtitle of the play is the mistakes of a night as this whole incident uh, was occurred in a uh, single night that is why this is called the mistakes of a night actually this is the title that was given for the first time and she stoops to conquer was given uh, um, on a later period okay so the next question is the prologue to the play was written by whom who did it out describe him the prologue was written by David Garrick, one of uh, the friend of Oliver Goldsmith. He was the manager of the Drury Lane Theatre. Here, the scope and purpose of the play is successfully described. Okay, in this uh, prologue, the scope and purpose of this play, that is, um, uh, actually, um, uh, reviving of the laugh laughing comedy. Okay, so this is completely uh, or successfully described in this uh, prologue. Okay, uh, Mr. Woodward read it out before the audience. He was dressed in black and was holding a handkerchief to his eyes as if he was weeping. Actually, he is pretending to weep. That is why he is completely dressed in black and he was uh, holding a um, handkerchief in his hand. Okay, so the next question. Its fopperies come down not only as inside passengers but in the very basket. What is meant by basket here? What does the speaker intend to say here? Here the baskets are the luggage container of a coach, which were also used as seat by the poor people. Actually, if you see the coach of that time, uh, there are uh, various YouTube videos that you can uh, see. There, if you closely look the coaches or the um, carriages, you can see a basket like something attached to the coach. And this will help 
to um, uh, actually carry the luggage and sometimes the poor people of London city. Okay. Here, uh, Mr. Hardcastle wants to say that the coaches not only bring rich people from London as insiders because uh, we all know that uh, the rich people sits inside the coach or uh, the carriage um, but uh, obviously it takes um, um, uh, the poor people in its basket to contaminate the countryside because this is the very belief of Mr. Hardcastle that people in London, the fashion in London is completely contaminating the countryside of, of England. Okay. So the next question, you know our agreement sir. Who is the speaker? Here the above mentioned line is said by Kate Hardcastle. Okay. So described about the agreement mentioned here. So what is the uh, agreement that was um, um, actually made between Mr. Hardcastle and Kate Hardcastle? So the agreement was between Mr. Hardcastle and his daughter Kate Hardcastle that she could dress as per her own will in the morning but in the evening she would wear plain housewife's clothes to please her father. Okay. Next question. Question number eight. A reserved lover dot 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 always makes a suspicious husband. Who is the speaker? Uh, now, this is said when um, Mr. Hardcastle was talking to uh, Kate Hardcastle about Marlowe. Okay. What does she mean to say? Here the speaker is Kate Hardcastle. She means to say that if a lover is reserved while courting the girl he loves, it is most likely of him to act reserved even after marriage and thus he will start to doubt his wife and as a result he will become a suspicious husband. Um, that means if a man is completely reserved while talking to a girl, then uh, how can he... Uh, speak out his um, uh, true intentions or true feelings and uh, as a result what will happen no in future uh, he will um, uh, start to disbelieve his wife and and uh, as a result the husband will become suspicious of his wife okay so let's move to the next question question number nine we could as soon find out the longitude who said this Marlowe said this above line what does this mean to find a longitude in the sea is almost impossible. Now, if you can remember the incident, this is in the alehouse, this is in the three pigeons, okay? So, when uh, Tony Lumpkin was instructing uh, Marlowe and Hastings about the way towards Mr. Hardcastle's house, uh, Marlowe says this uh, to Tony Lumpkin, okay? And um, uh, to find a longitude in the sea is almost impossible. Look, longitude is completely an imaginary line. Okay. So that's why Marlowe says that uh, they will find out the longitude sooner than to find Mr. Hartcastle's home following Tony Lumpkin's direction sarcastically. Uh, look, this is completely sarcasm. Okay. So the next question is question number 10. What is the box head? The box head is a very popular inn of the time in the whole countryside of England. Okay. So the next question, question number 11. What does Marlowe mean by Englishman's malady? In the play, we can see Marlowe is very much shy of talking to the upper class women. Look, um, um, this is a very peculiar type of disease we can say, quote unquote disease we can say uh, that Marlowe is suffering. Okay. By Englishman's malady, Marlowe means the lack of self-confidence which is a disease from which the Englishman suffer, especially Malu himself. Look here, uh, um, I must uh, include something that um, uh, Malu is not at all shy of talking uh, with the uh, uh, with uh, what we can say underrated women or the uh, poor class women because um, there lies the hypocrisy of this society okay and that's why you can say that uh, this is an attack to the sentimental comedy of that period of time okay so the next question question number 12 what does Marlow mean by warm work now and then at elections I suppose now, this was said by Milo uh, in reply to Mr. Hartcastle's um, uh, comment. Okay, so uh, we already know that Mr. Hartcastle is very good at making the punch or we can say the um, uh, wine. Okay, so Milo say th says this uh, to Mr. Hartcastle and the answer reads like, While at Hartcastle's house, Milo thinks it to be an inn because uh, he was completely um, mistaken 
and there while enjoying the wine marlo passes this comment by this he means that the innkeeper must have a rapid cell okay must have a, 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 a you can say a brisk cell of his excellent wine by the contesting candidates in election they bring voters to enjoy the wine and as a result they will vote for them uh, now we uh, all know about this incident uh, in our society too while well, there is an election the contesting um, um, candidates used to bribe the voters uh, by um, uh, giving them some chickens or something like that or uh, wines or uh, other things or money so this was uh, in uh, that time too and um, uh, marlo is saying that thing only okay so let's move to the next question question number 13 why does mr hartcastle say this may be modern modesty but i never saw anything looked so like old-fashioned impudence uh, now the answer is old sir charles marlo father of marlo has written his letter to mr hartcastle that marlo is a role model for modesty actually um, this we can say is uh, not at all completely false because charles marlowe is obviously a modest uh, man okay so um, but the way marlowe behaves is nothing but impudence because uh, this is completely his mistake that he uh, takes mr hartcastle's house as an inn uh, as um, um, described by tony lumpkin okay but the way Marlow behaves is nothing but impudence. On the other hand, Mr. Hartcastle's old friend cannot tell lie in his letter. So he thinks Marlow's impudence must be the other name of modern modesty. As he is not uh, ever been to uh, London, that is why he is uh, thinking that this might be a modern type of modesty. And that is why he is saying that this is very much like the old fashioned impudence. Okay so let's move to the next question question number 14 and that some say is the worst way to obtain them who is the speaker what does the worst way mean uh, here miss kate hartcastle says this to marlo about winning the women's heart okay so let's move to the next question question number 15 what does the phrase five droughts mean and the answer is in the prologue this is said by mr woodward the five droughts here mean the five acts of the play okay question number 16 what does poisonous drugs refer to here here the poisonous drugs refer to the licentiousness and immoralities of the restoration comedy of manners that were very much frequent in goldsmith's time actually in the time of goldsmith there the stages uh, or we can say the globe theater or the drury lane theater that was completely uh, that was only showing the comedy of manners and the sentimental comedies okay so this was referred to as poisonous drugs okay so the next question question number 17 why constance constance neville was not agreeing to the plan of running off with hastings actually we can say that george hastings was uh, planning to elope with constance neville to paris okay uh, so why she was not agreeing to so the answer is she was reluctant because she wanted her jewelries back that were kept with miss mrs hartcastle before eloping okay so the next question is question number 18 what type of comedy do you think is she stoops to conquer look i have already answered this but but i must read it out the play was discussed as an example of the revival of laughing comedy okay so this is revival of laughing comedy over the then popular sentimental comedy look this is not a sentimental comedy but uh, you can say an, uh, an attack on the sentimental comedy okay the mannerism of sentimentalism and moralization is completely omitted here so the next question is what is the scandalous magazine referred to by mrs hartcastle the scandalous magazine is a nickname of the town and country magazine so this was a popular magazine of the town and uh, this was named as um, a scandalous magazine question, question number 20 i never met so many accidents in so short a journey describe the so many accidents in your own words here the speaker is mrs hartcastle we all know that uh, she met so many accidents in her two and a half hour long nocturnal journey to aunt pedigree's house uh, which was 
pioneered by um, Tony Lumpkin and he was directing the way towards Aunt Pedigree's house but uh, he was completely befooling his mother and uh, was uh, going round and round his own house okay she was drenched in the mud thrown in the ditch shaken so badly as to be turned into a formless substance like jelly Last but not the least, she already lost her way too. And think Mr. Hardcastle as a highwayman. Okay. Here are some MCQ type question and you have to answer this along with me. So the first question is Mrs. Hardcastle wants Constance Neville to marry Tony Lumpkin. And the answer said to keep their jewels in the family. She thinks Tony will be good after marriage. Option C. She needs the jewels for Kate's marriage. Option D. She knows they love each other. Now the answer you all know, the answer is to keep the jewels in the family. Okay, option A. So the next question, what was Mr. Hardcastle's expectancy in Marlowe? So what Mr. Hardcastle expect in Marlowe? Uh, option A, knowledge. Option B, eloquence. Option C, modesty. And option D, vanity. Obviously, modesty. He wants modesty in his future son-in-law. Okay. So the next question, question number three, what does Mr. Hardcastle prohibits his servants to? Option A, show extra concern. Option B, come, re come up regularly. Option C, laugh at his stories. Option D, talk roughly. So uh, the answer is laugh at his stories. Okay. Question number four, why Constance is excited with the visit of Marlo? Uh, because uh, option A, Marlo is her lover. Option B, Hastings is accompanying him. Option C, she will be free of heart castle. And uh, option D, she is not at all excited. So the answer is, Hastings is accompanying him. Option B, Hastings is accompanying him. Okay, that is why she is um, excited with the visit of Marlo. Question number five, Kate's agreement with her father to wear in the evening is, options are uh, housewife's dress, fashionable dress, lavish gowns, whatever she wishes and the answer is housewife dress that means the plain dresses okay plain clothes question number six mr hardcastle's wife's name is option a clara option b constance option c dorothy option d digori so the answer is option c dorothy okay question number seven tony lumpkin's lady love was option a bed bouncer option b constance neville option c pimple option d cat and Tony Lumpkin's lady love was option A, bed bouncer. Okay. Question number eight. During the night journey, the place mentioned notorious for infested with high women by Tony Lumpkin was. So, uh, while journeying to uh, Miss uh, to Aunt Pedigree's house at night, uh, Tony Lumpkin says his mother that they have uh, arrived at a place named. Uh, and the place was very much infested, very much notorious for infested by the highwaymen. And the name of the place is option A, Doctor's Common, option B, Crack Skull's Place, option C, Cronin's Common, option D, Crack Skull Common. The answer is Crack Skull Common, option D, Crack Skull Common. Okay. So the next question, the second epilogue. We already uh, mentioned that uh, the there are two epilogues and the second epilogue to she Stoops to Conquer was written by option A, James Craddock, option B, Mr. Woodward, option C, Julia Craddock, option D, Joseph Craddock. Okay, and the answer is option D, Joseph Craddock. Question number 10, the stories Mr. Hardcastle used to tell were of option A, Prince Eugene and Duke of Marlborough, option B, Hyder Ali, option C, Ali Khan, option D, Ali Crocker. And the answer is option a prince eugene and duke of marlborough okay so here are the 10 questions 10 mcq questions and 20 saq type questions uh, i have um, chosen from this um, um, play okay there are several other questions and if you find this helpful then please give it a like do share with your friends and uh, please give me your valuable comments thank you for watching this video